How are you guys? Like I said, we're gonna be working on a men's haircut today. I wanna really focus on a faux hawk. What I'll do is I separate the front and the back. So right here, down to the ear, that's separated. And then I'm gonna go right here in the front and I'm gonna decide where do I want to bring that taper up to. We're gonna go about right here. I'm gonna comb this hair over, part it, and then I'll slide a clip up underneath the side. You can see kind of on the edge of the eyebrow right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Get it right about the edge of the eyebrow. Comb this hair up. I'm gonna slide that clip up under. And I'm not worried about the back so much right now. It's gonna stop right about that behind the ear, kind of that follow the hairline up. That's about where I'll stop. Now I'm gonna blow dry the entire cut. So or underneath here, I'm gonna keep this wet on top. So I'm gonna be cutting that in my hands. I'm gonna blow dry this just to smooth it out a little bit and also get it dry so I can do my clipper work. And um, I'm gonna work through. Now, as I go in and clipper, I'm just gonna pull away right around the ear. I'm not gonna take this all the way up. I'm not trying to go that tight all the way through this haircut, just around these edges. So I'll comb the hair forward and I'm gonna start off right here, work through, and then just flip my wrist out when I get up to that line. So in and out. Basically what I wanna do is I'm holding this weight line here back into the back in that occipital bone area, flip out right when I get to that point. Obviously, if this was a real person, I would move his ear and work my way through that way. So now I'm drawing a curved line around. So here we go again, it's no surprise. Come right here and I'm gonna work through and I'll just see where I'm at with that length. So I, I want more blend than that. I'm gonna go up and I'm not trying, because it's a faux hawk, I'm not trying to have too much of a weight line at all at this point. I actually wanna bring this weight line as close to the head as possible so then I can start my triangular feel. I don't wanna have bulk coming out here. It's too bulky, then I have to try to make that triangular. It's not gonna look right. So going nice and close to the head. Again, you could clipper all the way up if you wanted to. Maybe I'll do that on the opposite side, show you guys both ways. Key thing with scissor over comb is to really just keep Keep the one blade up against the bone of the comb. So just like that, and then you close down. Here, bone of the comb, work through. It's always good to look at somebody straight on in the mirror so you can see the balance of the vertical line. So as I'm looking here, kind of see where that little edge is. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do clipper work over here. Best thing to do, in my opinion, for clipper work, I'm gonna grab my three guard and I'm gonna do it fully open right now. Actually, I'm gonna go four guard to get the bulk out and then I'll go three guard probably to take it down. Watch kind of how the movement works with this clipper guard. So as I go up the head, so I work up the head like this, I follow the head shape and then I continue following around, I come up, and through. So the flick of the wrist is also kind of an up and through. So at that top point, even when I'm here, come up, and I let that hair kind of just fall into the clipper. Now, for a, like a lot of people, you could just be like, all right, I'm good with that clipper over comb or that clipper work. For me, I'm a much more of a scissor kind of guy. I use the clipper to, to do things quickly, but I like the control I have with my scissor and it's less bulky for me working around things. So I fly through with the clipper, but then I'll always go in and do a little extra detail work, scissor over comb. So right here, if I just wanted to shift that line a little bit. I go in there and cut. Now I'm gonna let this top out only because, not because I'm gonna start cutting it right away, but kind of want to see how it's all fallen together. Now we got our length front we've got texture and length in the back that we haven't cut yet this is my clipper side see i brought a little bit extra weight scissor over comb to bring it a little closer so now wet down the top and the back we'll start in the back and then we'll work our way towards the front i'm gonna change up my comb so now i'm gonna go with my 334 comb and i'll separate front and back like that and basically what I'm going to do to cut this faux hawk is I'm going to start by creating a guide right here, going short to long. And I'm going to start bringing everything over to that point. I'm going to travel a little bit towards the beginning. And when I get about midway between center back and behind the ear, I'm going to stop and I'm going to start over directing to the center. The reason I do that is because I want to start building up weight in the back crown, um, but I don't want to build up too much weight. That's kind of why I'm going to make my shift here. Pivoting sections through the back, not gonna create any disconnection. So I've got my guideline right there. Now a key move would be to kind of start point cutting from that short point to the long. Gotta get in your way. Now I pivot. This new section is gonna go halfway through the previous. Come over here. 
here. Now I'm gonna stand in front of the client at this point. So here we go again, it's no surprise. Slight, gradual, kind of round line coming back, and then it pushes quickly to this very center back. So now the very center of this section is the longest point. So when you look at it, it can start to give us this kind of mohawk feel in the back from a short to long point. But I can just take this little point and cut in just to blend it a little bit more so it's not disconnected, it doesn't look like a tail. Blend those together. Now we're gonna go into the front. Triangular shape on the top. I'm gonna take center parting just like this. And we're gonna start by cutting the right side. Our guide is gonna come from this back point we cut prior, so just like this. Bring it back to that back point. I'm gonna cut short to long, longest part being in the center. Opposite side, just pulling up some of this hair. What I wanna do is I wanna create a little extra pop of texture in this cut. So I like to take diagonal partings, stick the Velcro clip in the hair like this. I can take my texture 25 side of the tri razor and hold the hair in my hand. Then I'll just take that texture 25 side and work it through either mid shaft or towards the base, depending on how thick their hair is. You just slide it down, then you remove 25% of the hair. And I can do that throughout this cut. And so Velcro clips are cool because I can just take a bunch of hair, clip that in, hold it in my hand, and then go into it. This, and I'll do this all over my guy's hair. Take that 25 texture and cut, and remove bulk. Take that clip out, pop it somewhere else. Bring it over, 25 texture and just remove it. Now, this creates all of that like kind of jagged up and down movement throughout the haircut. And I love doing that on this edge of the of a triangular haircut because it just skinnies it up even more and creates, again, tons of movement. So we pretty much got our faux hawk cut. Um, I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer again just to get the loose hairs out. All right, guys, thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the class. I will see you guys 